Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, I want to say thanks to everyone that came to my live stream yesterday. I appreciate all of you, even though there was a mad latency, I think it was one minute. I think I know how to fix that for the next live stream. So my question is to you, do you want to see more live streams or do you like these edited videos that you can't ask questions and whatever? I was going to do this one in a live stream, but I decided against it. I want to get your opinion first. Before we get going though, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button right here. Today, we are covering an ICO called Herify, which is a super interesting ICO, one that currently has an 82.81% on my ICO sheet. But before we talk about that, I wanna remind you that this is an ICO. So please remember to do your own research because investing in an ICO can be risky. Also, the team at Herify has reached out to me to do a sponsored review of their project, but I have reserved the right to be honest and objective for all of you. With that being said, let's begin. So right here we have the ICO sheet where they have an 82.81%, actually pretty good. It's right behind Coinvest in front of Current and Neon Exchange. I do feel like this is super unbiased. We're trying the best we can to get as much data as possible to rate each and every ICO to the best of our ability. Verify has an 82%. So let's get started. The video is not on the ICO sheet. It's a coin analysis. So here we go. So for our coin analysis, we're going to look at what is Herify, the coin purpose, the team and advisors, the market cap, the competition and partners, the prototype, if they have one, the goals, which is pretty much the roadmap, and then a star system between one and 10 will all list the pros and cons of Herify. So what is Herify? It's an Ethereum-based decentralized platform that facilitates IoT developers to monetize their IoT hardware resources and services via smart contract. The platform allows enterprises to post projects and devs to apply for those projects. A smart contract is established and the platform will act as the project planning, execution, and delivery tool, as well as execution of payment and feedback to verify quality of work of the developer. So first they have phase one. It's, this is where the service implementation offers capability as a service, which addresses the need for building the Internet of Thing products by making diverse IoT capabilities. Then phase two, which offers hardware as a service, which addresses the need for building IoT products by making remote hardware like development boards and sensors available as a service for businesses to leverage the hardware required to build proof of concept and prototypes in real time. And then phase three, where data as a service allows for businesses to monetize the data on the Internet of Things devices as a service for businesses by opening a real-time data pipe and metering channel. So that was a handful, but they are doing a lot. So for their coin purpose, the HUR or HER token is used for small and medium enterprises and developers who want to utilize the features of the HERFI platform. They're required to own the tokens. Service providers will earn the HER token as an incentive for completing services and service requesters will pay providers with the HER tokens. So now what about their team? First, we have Malori Serini. I think that's his name. I guess he shorts it on his LinkedIn. He's the founder and CEO of Herify. He gets his superstar for his experience as an engineering manager at Intel and the project manager at HP. And he gets his master star because he's been in the IT field as an engineer for over 20 years. Next, we have Kavitha Gopalan. I think I'm saying her name right. She's the co-founder of Herify. She gets her superstar for her eight and a half years experience at Intel, and she gets her master star for being in the IT field for the last 20 years. And then finally, our third is Siddhar Krishnan. <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right again. He's the head of engineering at Herify. He gets his superstar for being a technical lead at HP for the last 11 years and a system software consultant for Canon for three years. And he gets his master star because he has worked in the IT space for 20 years. So as you can see, they have one star, four superstars, and three master stars, which is actually pretty good. And then for their advisors, since their team is pretty good, I'm not actually gonna talk about that. Their top one is, I guess his name is Nasser Rahal. He's their top advisor for sure. And they have two stars, one superstar, and one master star here. Next, we have their market cap. We're looking at $20 million hard cap. Pretty much the sweet spot that we like is not too much. It's just not too much. And then we have 151 million circulating supply, 273 million total supply. 
And so they do have bonuses. So based on the time period that you bought from February 1st to 7th, you had a 20% bonus from 8th to 14th, which is now, I believe, yeah. You get a 15% bonus from 15th to the 21st, you get a 10% bonus. And then the final days of the ICO, you'll have a 5% bonus. Any unsold tokens will be burned and US is not restricted from buying. At least for now, we saw what credits did. So if you're from the US, you wanna jump in, you can jump in now and there's nothing holding you back. So next they have their competition and partner. So for competition, we have IOT chain and IOTA. Now, of course, in phase one, they're kind of doing something different. But in the grand scheme of things, these are definitely competitors. And of course, IOTA is the top one right now. So this kind of shows you where they are or what market they're in. It's a pretty big one. I know we're all looking for that next IOT Internet of Things project. This one could be it. Now for the partners, they don't really have any big name partners yet. But the CEO does talk about in an interview that they should be joining the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance soon. That's a pretty big thing. Super excited if they're able to jump into that. Now for their prototype. So they do have a working product with over 12,000 devs on board. The link below, which is in the middle right there, is the YouTube video for the preview of the prototype. Super short and effective video, just letting you know what they have. I have two screenshots that pretty much sum up the video fairly well. Again, I'll leave the link in the description and the comments. So now we look at their goals, which again is their roadmap. This is pretty straightforward. Q1, they have an escrow smart contract. They have the IoT service marketplace, job management, and then her payment. Q2, we're looking at video calling, voice calling, messaging, then support for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and then for forums, whatever that means. <laughs> and then Q3, we have IoT or Internet of Thing, hardware rentals, advertising solutions on Herify. And then Q4, we have rewards and incentive for service providers. So they don't really have a completely detailed roadmap that shows like month by month, but I don't really mind that. It still shows that they're gonna be getting things done in the first half of 2018. So now for our final slide, the stars, and I'm giving them an eight out of 10 stars. This is kind of based off of what I think in the ICO score sheet kind of supports this also. So the pros, they have a great team with extensive IT experience. They have a working product that it's pretty much a hat. They have a working product, which is pretty much a must have now. If you don't have a working product, why are you even doing an ICO? They have a platform that's already built and has over 12,000 devs on board and ready to do whatever projects are sent their way. They have a low hard cap of $20 million. Like I said, they've scored over 80% on my ICO sheet. Of course, always good for you. The US is not restricted from investing, at least at this point. Also, they have an active Twitter of over 1,000 people. They have a large Telegram group that has over 37,000 people. So for the cons, they don't really have any big name partners, as I said. Hopefully, they can get that Enterprise Ethereum Alliance under their belt. And then big competition. Like I said, we have IOTA, IOT Chain, and so many more in that Internet of Things space. We'll see what they can do. They do seem to have the experience to be successful. Hopefully, they are. So that's my video on Herify. Let me know what you think. Again, here's my ICO sheet. I'm gonna try to bring this up every video, add more and more every single day if possible. Like I said, they got an 82.81%, which is pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna personally jump in, but this doesn't look like a bad one. Of course, the internet of things is the next big thing in my opinion. So we'll see what they do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.